Uh, we're having this because there has been a uh, a lot of speculation and comments in the public domain with regard to a proposed casino development project here in Fiji. I'd like to make it very clear that as of today, the People's Coalition government has not considered or approved any policy guidelines on the issuance of casino licenses. As a background to the development of casino in Fiji, in 2011, the Bainmarama government issued an exclusive gaming license to 100 cents limited for 15 years. I believe the company planned to build a luxury casino resort and convention center on Denarau Island. In 2015, the Fiji First Government revoked 100 cents limited license due to a breach of license conditions and citing failure of the company to complete the project and the opening of the casino on time. While 100 Sands uh, applied for judicial review of the decision by government, their application was dismissed by the High Court and thereafter by the Court of Appeal. At the 2017-18 uh, national budget announcement, the former Minister for the Economy announced that an exclusive casino license would be granted to FNPF in relation to its conference center investment in Marriott Momi Bay. This did not eventuate, and the COVID-19 pandemic had further put this project on the back burner. The process of being granted a casino license by the previous government was as follows. One, an application for a class two gaming license made to the Attorney General on the prescribed form. Two, the payment of fees valued at 1% of the estimated annual gross turnover for the year, for that year, as determined by the Attorney General, after consideration of FNPF submission in this regard to accompany the application form. Three, annual fee of 1% of annual gross turnover earned from gaming proceeds for the second year of operations also applied. Four, the gaming license fee may be waived or varied on reasonable grounds. And five, the casino license will specify the period for which the license is to be valid and such conditions as the Attorney General thinks fit. In April of this year, Cabinet considered the proposal to issue a casino license to FNPF and it was agreed that a decision was to, was to be deferred and considered at a later date. Before any further discussion on the matter, the coalition government will need to develop a clear and robust policy guideline on the issuance of casino licenses in Fiji, following comprehensive consultations with all stakeholders. I wish to reiterate that until such time that that happens, no casino license, and I repeat, no casino license will be issued to any entity by the Fiji, by the coalition government of Fiji. So all those things need to happen before consideration can be given. Thank you.